both of the drugs, there's certainly lots of experience in routine clinical practice using them. So we didn't see anything particularly new or surprising, but because the drugs work with different mechanisms, we saw a differential toxicity. So with brentuximab, the common things that you see are things like peripheral neuropathy, uh, largely in, uh, improving or self-limited uh, when the drug is held or dose reduced. Uh, with pembrolizumab, we saw a lot of the immune-related adverse events that are fairly common for these types of drugs. They're generally fairly minor, things like hypothyroidism or, or those sorts of things that are fairly common, grade one or two toxicities. The one that uh, a lot of clinicians and patients need to know a little bit about is pneumonitis. And so this was seen in about 10% of the patients that uh, received pembrolizumab. It was grade three or four in a little over 5% of the patients that received the drug. Uh, again, thankfully, no patient-related deaths were seen in patients with these types of toxicities. It could be successfully managed with steroids in the majority of the patients. And so is an important toxicity to highlight, but certainly did not limit the effectiveness of the drug.